Well, hello, everyone. Good evening. I now declare that all are assembled for the 133rd commencement of Eastern Connecticut State University. Thank you. My name is Steve Ferrucci, and in this ceremony today, I represent the University Senate. Let's welcome seniors Jocelyn V. Crisantos and Brianna Macias to give the invocation. We invite you to join us in a moment of silence and reflection. We come before you today with grateful hearts and humble spirit as we gather to celebrate this honorable occasion of graduation. We thank you for the countless blessings that you have given us throughout our academic journey and for the opportunity to receive an education. We are grateful for the moments that we have had to learn, to grow, and to develop new skills. We are grateful for the support and encouragement of our families, friends, and mentors who have stood by us and helped us to reach this milestone in our life. As we gather here today, we are mindful of those who are not with us in person, but remain with us in our hearts and memories. We pause now to remember those who have passed away, especially the family members, friends, and loved ones in our families. We appreciate everyone who has stood beside us in this journey, especially those who have become dear friends, whose paths might not have crossed our own if we had not came here. As we stand at the beginning of a new chapter in our lives, we ask for your guidance and wisdom to navigate the path ahead. Help us to use the knowledge and skills that we have gained to make a positive impact on the world around us. Give us the courage to pursue our dreams and the perseverance to overcome any obstacles that we may encounter. Finally, we ask that you continue to watch over us and guide us in all of our future endeavors. May we use our education to bring honor to your name and to serve others by your grace. We ask for your blessings upon the ceremony, the mindfulness of your presence, and to seek your guidance in all that we do. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jocelyn and Brianna. Now to sing America the Beautiful, I invite Abigail Fletcher and Melody Soapsack to come to the stage.
Thank you, Abigail and Melody. That was beautiful. Please remain standing until the governor's foot guard departs. Thank you to the governor's foot guard members, Captain Larry Botting, Sergeant Edwin Morales, Corporal Donovan Ward, and Private Timothy Rucker. Thank you as well to pianist David Bayena and to the Eastern World Percussion Ensemble. Thank you for creating such a wonderful new tradition. Please be seated. <laughs> it is now my great pleasure to present the graduating class of 2023 to President Elsa Nunez. Thank you, Grand Marshal Ferrucci. Welcome to the 133rd commencement of Eastern Connecticut State University, Connecticut's only public liberal arts university. This is a time you will remember for years to come. Today, graduates, you begin a new chapter. Welcome to these proceedings. On behalf of the university, I acknowledge and I extend my congratulations to the class of 2023. I would ask the graduates to turn to the uh, audience and look at your family members that are here, your parents and family members. Let's, let's thank them. Yes, it is appropriate to thank them for getting you here. They are a big reason why you are here with us tonight to celebrate the 133rd Eastern Connecticut State University commencement exercises. Thank you. It's my pleasure now to introduce the platform party and today's readers. Please stand as I introduce you and audience, please hold your applause until all are introduced. From my left in the back row is Dr. Emily Todd, Dean of, School of, of the School of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Nidhi Pandey, Dean of the School of Education and Professional Studies. Kamisha Wilma, Dean of Students. <laughs> Dr. Patricia Stish, Director of the Institute for Sustainability. John Bazin, Associate Vice President for Employee and Labor Relations. Dr. Jennifer Brown, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs. From my left in the middle row is Garrett Buzalinski, Chief Information Officer. Michelle Delaney, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Lamar Coleman, Vice President for Equity and Diversity. James Howarth, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Justin Murphy, President of the ECSU Foundation Board of Directors, Class of 1998. Tom DeVivo, Mayor of Willimantic. Dr. Daniel Donaghy, 2023 Distinguished Professor. Michael Stenko, Director of Alumni Affairs. From my left in the front row is Dr. William Salka, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Thomas Gibson, honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker, more importantly, Eastern Class of 1996. Dr. Elsa Nunez, president of Eastern Connecticut State University, Father Larry LaPointe, campus ministry, and Regent Ari Santiago, member of the Board of Regents. Will the readers and translators for today please stand? The readers are Lamar Coleman, Taylor Hammond, Joshua Ijadi, Scott Moore. The, the translators for today are Marianne Clark and Anna Marie Cartagena. Please join me in applauding our distinguished guests.
Thank you. Now I am pleased to introduce Ms. Nora Amush, the class president who will give the senior class address and present the class gift. Dear fellow graduates, faculty, staff, and loved ones, my name is Nora Amouche, and I've had the honor of being your senior class president. This day is a momentous occasion in our lives. We are here to celebrate all of our past accomplishments and the hard work that brought us to this moment. As we enter a new chapter in our lives, it's important to remember what unites us and not what divides us. We share a common bond, which was forged from our experiences in the liberal arts education that we received at Eastern Connecticut State University. This bond will give us the strength to face the challenges that lie ahead. We are living in a time of great division and uncertainty that sometimes may lead us to feel isolated and at odds with one another. This division can be seen in politics, in social media, and in our general daily interactions. If we can take a step back and reflect upon all the basic values we have in common, then we can come together and become a powerful force for the good we want to achieve in our society. As one of our nation's mottos states, united we stand, divided we fall. Achieving unity is not easy. It requires us to put our own biases and learn uh, put aside our own biases and learn to listen to the points of views of others, especially when they are different from our own. It also requires us to have empathy and the willingness to understand others. Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, if civilization is to survive, we must cultivate the science of human relationships, the ability of all peoples of all kinds to live together in the same world at peace. I see in front of me future doctors, lawyers, teachers, nurses, journalists, politicians, officers, and artists. Some of you may not yet know what career you're going to choose. My own dream is to become a United States Marine Corps aviator. We all have different dreams, but that does not mean we can't respect the choices of others and encourage each other as we embark on our different paths. So I urge you, my fellow graduates, to embrace unity, not just in our own communities, but in all communities. Let us embrace the idea that we have the responsibility to support each other through whatever obstacles we may face so we can foster a society where everyone is valued and respected. And so as we celebrate today, let's remember the word unity. Let's commit to continuing to support each other now and others we may meet in the future. As Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I can't wait to see all that we will achieve. Congratulations, class of 2023, we did it. Now I would like to ask President Nunez to join me at the podium to present the senior class gift. This gift will be used to establish a scholarship in the name of the class of 2023. Thank you, Ms. Samuche. We're very grateful to you and thank you for those inspiring words. I would like to recognize this year's Distinguished Professor of the Year, Dr. Daniel Donaghy. Dr. Donaghy, please stand. Since Dr. Donaghy began in the English department in 2005, his inspiring poetry and expert teaching have defined his tenure here. He has published dozens of poems in some of America's most prestigious literary magazines and won many top awards. Of his book, Start With the Trouble, award-winning poet Tim Daniel said, these poems exist because they have no choice. 
Donaghy is the real deal. He's not striking poses or doing any fancy dances. These poems grab you by the collar and compel you to listen. Dr. Donaghy won the prestigious Patterson Poetry Prize for his latest collection, Somerset, placing him in the illustrious company of past award winners, including Billy Collins and Sherman Alexie. Dr. Donaghy helped organize this year's widely successful first annual Eastern Literary Festival for high school students, inspiring the next generation of writers and potential Eastern students. Under his direction, the school's poetry magazine, Eastern Exposure, has grown into a robust publication. And in the past few years, the Creative Writing Club has brought Pulitzer Prize winning authors to speak at our campus. He also works across disciplines, assisting the theater department with their film project, Greenwood, A Dreamland Destroyed. Our university could not be more fortunate than to have Dr. Donaghy as a colleague and as a professor. Thank you, Dr. Donaghy, for your dedicated service. Please join me in thanking Dr. Donaghy. So to my graduates, I say, you didn't get here alone, right? You had a great support system, and that was Eastern's faculty. May I ask the faculty of Eastern Connecticut State University to stand so we may acknowledge you. <laughs> Class of 2023, assist me in acknowledging our faculty. Thank you for all that you do for our students. Now I would like to recognize this year's Connecticut State Colleges and Universities Henry Barnard Foundation Distinguished Students Award recipients from Eastern. These are two very, very distinguished students. The annual Henry Barnard Award recognizes 12 outstanding undergraduates from Connecticut's four public universities. Would Eastern's Barnard Award winners please stand and be recognized? Eastern's 2023 recipients of the Henry Barnard Distinguished Students Award are Emily Barada and Judith Arroyo Cervantes. Congratulations on your award. We're very proud of them. Thank you. Will Regent Ari Santiago please join us for welcoming remarks? Good evening. What a great amount of energy in this arena. It's really unbelievable. I hear names, Cecilia, Mark, Jasmine. I mean, really, really unbelievable. Can we get one more giant round of applause for the class of 2023? Uh, as has been said, my name is Ari Santiago, and I'm on the Board of Regents for Higher Education. And I'm really privileged and honored to be here today. I bring with me, on behalf of myself and all the Regents, heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates of 2023 for all your hard work that has led to today's success. Also, they say it takes a village to raise a child, and certainly it takes a village to get that same child through university. So I think we should all say thank you to the parents, faculty, administration, friends, grandparents, cousins, brothers, sisters, and others who have made today possible. Thank you all so, so very much. <laughs> Graduates, today is a significant milestone in your life. The Board of Regents and I could not be prouder for what you've achieved. Coming out of a school with nearly a 135-year tradition of educating students in Connecticut, this university is just as prestigious or maybe more so today than ever. Rated the top university in the New England by World News, uh, US, Report and World, ah, US News and World Report the last four years running. Recognition from the Princeton Review for one of the best colleges in the Northeast, the Green Award, Military Friendly, and so many other great things this university is doing to educate and support students in Connecticut.
Whether you are the first in your family to achieve this award or you're continuing on a long tradition of education, you have so much to be proud of. We extend our heartfelt congratulations along with the hope that each of you pursue your own individual dreams moving forward, whether that's continuing education, going into a career, going into the military, or something else entirely. I hope that you bring the same dedication, perseverance, and energy that it took to get you to this day to the rest of your life. It will do you well and serve you well and bring you much success in the years ahead. I also want to give a special recognition to the faculty and staff who helped to get to this point. Their experience and dedication contributes so much to the quality of educational experience and to the quality of life here in Connecticut. So to all the CSCU employees, thank you very, very much. And finally, to the class of 2023, one more time, congratulations. And to quote your senior speaker, may you move forward united and have all the success your hearts desire. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Santiago. I would now like to recognize and call to the podium our commencement speaker, Dr. Thomas Gibson, for the purpose of awarding him the honorary degree, Doctorate of Human Letters. Dr. Gibson became the 15th Chancellor of the University of Wisconsin System, uh, Stevens Point, January 2021. He is a proud 1996 graduate of Eastern and with majored in communication. Dr. Gibson has accomplished so much already in his stellar career in higher education. At the University of Wisconsin, he launched online graduate programs and created the Chancellor's Commission on the Ancestors Buried Below Us to increase education about the memorialized Native American tribal members buried on the university's land. Early in his tenure, Dr. Gibson's leadership resulted in several major gifts, including a land donation to support his university's College of Natural Resources. Prior to joining his current university, Dr. Gibson also served as Vice President for Student Affairs and Vice Provost at Bowling Green State University, where he supported a record increase in student retention and helped raise $8 million. Dr. Gibson has held numerous positions where he has enhanced student success and diversity in higher education. Dr. Gibson has made building community a large part of his work. It is an honor and we are proud to welcome him back to Eastern. Dr. Salka, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, come forward to read the citation for the degree. Whereas Dr. Thomas Gibson has achieved success in his career through innovation and empowerment within higher education, and whereas Dr. Gibson received his doctorate in educational leadership in higher education at Johnson & Wales University, his master's degree in education from the University of New Haven, and his undergraduate degree in communication from Eastern Connecticut State University. Whereas, Dr. Gibson has made the pursuit of enhancing student success and diversity in higher education his career mission. And whereas, Dr. Gibson is an exemplar and mentor to students and faculty from many different communities at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, where he is the 15th Chancellor. Whereas, Dr. Gibson's remarkable career has included executive leadership roles where he grew enrollment and diversity initiatives, including the opening of a Center for Inclusive Excellence and the creation of the Chancellor's Commission on the Ancestors Buried Below, buried below Us to honor Native American peoples buried on University of Wisconsin Stevens Point land. Whereas, Dr. Gibson's lifelong pursuit of student advocacy exemplifies the transformative mission of Eastern Connecticut State University to provide students with knowledge and skills to lead enriching, purposeful lives. 
Therefore, be it resolved that on this day, the 16th of May, 2023, Eastern Connecticut State University hereby presents Dr. Thomas Gibson, the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. It is my very great honor to preside over the conferral of Eastern Connecticut State University's Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents concurring, I confer upon you the degree Doctorate of Humane Letters, and I vest with you all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I hand to you a diploma and direct and direct you to be vested with the hood appropriate to your degree. Thank you, President Nunez. Provost Salka, Regent Santiago, university leadership, elected leaders, and friends of ECSU. Hello, graduates. Oh, we can do better than that, ECSU. Hello, graduates. All right. Awesome. So it feels surreal to be standing before you as the Eastern Connecticut State University commencement speaker because in my mind, it was only a short time ago when I was in your seat, ready to receive my undergraduate degree. In reality, it was more than just a few years ago. But looking back at my time at ECSU, I realized how deeply transformative it was for me, as I am sure it has been for many of you here today. My experience on campus was instrumental in establishing my personal and career trajectory. So my remarks to you today will highlight a few of the most impactful experiences of my youth, my journey to Eastern, my career in higher education, and to this very stage. Some parts of my life journey you might find surprising, while others will sound very familiar to your own experiences. Each of us has a unique journey, but today our paths converge as we share this special event. I currently serve as the Chancellor of the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point, a mid-sized public university in rural central Wisconsin. It's really great, guys. At UWSP, we tell our students to utilize their time in college to discover their purpose. And for us, it's more than just a brand. It is an expectation and a promise that we make to our students. And I know the same is true for your ECSU experience. Like many of you, I was the first in my family to graduate from college. I grew up in New Haven with my two siblings and mother in a lower income household. Although we were not well off financially, I never felt as though I didn't have enough. And our home was always filled with warmth and laughter. As a youth, I enjoyed attending school English, social studies, science were my favorite subjects. I was and still am a curious learner. I did and still do ask a lot of questions. But attending college wasn't on my radar and certainly not a foregone conclusion. Besides, at the time, I had other aspirations. My life would forever be changed first in the year 1980. While visiting my older cousin's home, I heard a song, a rap song, for the very first time. It was Rapper's Delight, performed by the Sugar Hill Gang. Do you know it? <laughs> I couldn't believe what my ears were hearing. The rhyming words, the song's energy, it forced you to move something, your feet, or bop your head. And the boastfulness of the rappers were unlike anything that I had ever heard. 
I smiled with fascination. To me, it was like poetry set to music. In the song, the rappers spelled their names and their lyrics. And as you may have guessed, I too began rap spelling my name around the house and at school. In fact, I couldn't wait for Monday's attendance roll call so that I can rap. Well, I'm the T-H-O, the M-A-S, the G-I-B-S-O-N. <laughs> Indeed, I was quite annoying, folks. <laughs> rap music and hip hop culture became the soundtrack to my early life's journey. As a teenager, I believe my purpose in life was to become a rapper like Run DMC or LL Cool J. Wait, are you surprised? You can't tell? What about now? Oh, okay. Although I believed my purpose was to become this rap star, my mother had other plans for me. She was a strong proponent of education and knew it was a pathway to more opportunity. She helped me to understand early on if I were to achieve any success, personal or professional, it would be through securing an education beyond high school. Besides the ability to rap my name, I wasn't so certain that a rap career was in the cards. My parents were thrilled that I was seemingly um, getting past this rapping thing, and I was becoming more serious about my studies. I did well academically in high school and was off to college, off to Eastern Connecticut State University. Another life milestone was the moment I set foot on Eastern's campus to participate in the CAP STEP program. I knew this was the right place for me. The open and inclusive culture of Eastern helped me to connect with others across differences in meaningful ways. I quickly began to discover who I was as a person and where I could focus my interests. I was a fully engaged student and active in student organizations. I also worked as a new student orientation peer advisor, a student patrol officer, and peer tutor throughout my study. These ex experiences afforded my first opportunity of being of service to others. I learned firsthand the, the transformational impact of a higher education experience. Unbeknownst to me at the time, it was an experience that would provide direction and professional purpose throughout my life. As an undergrad, I chose a major with some proximity to entertainment, communication. At the time, I thought I wanted to be a TV news anchor. After graduation, my first professional job was as a technical director and video editor for a TV station. I enjoyed my work immensely, but over time found it not very fulfilling. Upon some reflection, I realized what I enjoyed most was supporting and assisting others, like, I, like when I was an undergraduate student at ECSU. So I returned to school, pursued advanced degrees in education and leadership and higher education administration. I was well on my way to a professional career in higher education. My graduate study reinforced my belief that personal curiosity lends itself well in institutions of higher education. The pursuit of knowledge leads to understanding the why and how so that we can begin to solve problems. It's a perfect fit to be surrounded by learners and thoughtful thinkers. I knew without a doubt that a career in higher education was the right fit for me. My first professional experience in higher education was as a residence hall director at a small private college here in Connecticut. This position allowed me to support student success through residential education programming. Seeing students grow and playing a small part in that growth was a reaffirming experience. I was energized by my new profession, similar to how I felt the first time I heard Rapper's Delight. I had found my purpose. Helping more students succeed is my mission. It was my purpose for the first 26 years of my higher education career, and it will continue to be my purpose well into the future. I have not, however, stopped learning and growing. My journey of personal and professional development will never end. So ECSU graduates, I ask you today at this monumental moment, what is your purpose? How has your experience at this institution prepared you for the next step in your life's path? Many of you may have known your purpose early in your lives, long before attending ECSU. 
Perhaps you were enrolled here with a clear focus and passion that drove you to earning your degree. Your experience here enriched your passions, refined your focus, and reaffirmed your commitment to your personal and professional goals. Some of you likely discovered your purpose while attending ECSU. Your liberal arts education provided you with the knowledge and skills to make informed decisions. Your experiences inside and outside of the classroom gave you opportunities to explore academic and professional pathways, which helped to shape your direction. And some of you may remain unsure of your purpose. Trust me, you are not the first college graduate who is anxious about the next step in their life's journey. Rest assured, you will discover your purpose. Have confidence that the education you received at ECSU has provided a solid foundation on which you can build a fulfilling career and a personal life. I stand before you today as proof of the transformational experience of a college education. Eastern Connecticut State University served as my laboratory to explore different professional pathways and interests. My ECSU faculty and staff challenged me to understand what I was truly passionate about, including my career path. Many of you, like me, will not discover your true path until later in life. When I was faced with the choice of remaining on the professional track of working in broadcast television or taking a risk and changing my direction by pursuing a career in higher education, I drew upon my ECSU experiences for guidance. Some of you will face similar choices in the future. Indeed, some of the professions you will choose to pursue in the future haven't been created yet. Imagine that. Our world is changing at a rapid pace, and we need adaptable ECSU graduates to address tomorrow's challenges and thrive in the world. I can tell you with certainty that the path taken by the many individuals in this room have not been in a straight line. There were twists and turns, and the lessons we learned through life challenges have led us to where we are today. My life journey is just one example of how discovering your purpose doesn't always follow a set path or timeline. Your post-graduation life will not be without challenges. You will encounter situations that will test your resolve and require you to make some difficult decisions. At these times, draw on your ECSU education to determine the best direction forward. Realize too that discovering your purpose is not a singular point in time that ends with earning your degree. It is a lifelong journey of evaluation, reflection, and refinement. The choices you make will define your life's direction. Your family, your friends, and your colleagues will be the beneficiaries of your decisions. Each of you will have different paths and different timelines. I encourage you to live out your purpose and experience life as your true, authentic self. Seek new challenges as opportunities to grow and learn. At ECSU, you learned how to learn, so choose to be a lifelong learner. Regardless of where you are in your journey, each of you is here today to celebrate one of the greatest achievements in your lives so far. Each of you can leave here today with the confidence that your ECSU education has prepared you well to succeed and adapt to an ever-changing world. ECSU graduates are critical thinkers, community-focused, and global citizens. Use the skills and knowledge you have gained to improve the world around you, both locally and beyond. Each of you, each of you can make a positive impact in your respective communities. Together, our impact is exponentially greater. And while each of you will set off in different directions, you share a common bond. You are Eastern Connecticut State University alumni. I guarantee you will cross paths with other ECSU alumni throughout your life. And when you do, be sure to share your pride for this institution and use that shared affinity to build lifelong bonds with your fellow ECSU alumni. And remember, you are the best recruiters of future ECSU alumni. So tell others about your transformative experience and help the next generation discover their purpose at ECSU. Now, with all due respect to President Nunez, I would like to give the graduates a charge of my own. Graduates, I challenge you to view each day as an opportunity for personal growth. Be intellectually curious, both in your profession 
in your personal life. Embrace the diversity of uh, perspectives as it will extend, expand your understanding of complicated concepts and nuanced ideas. Use what you've learned at ECSU to improve the lives of those around you and others who you may never meet. And finally, remember your time at Eastern Connecticut State University and know that you will always be welcome. To end my remarks, I would like to perform a verse from the 1980 rap classic, Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. <coughs> Just kidding. Uh, thank you for allowing me to share in your special day. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> That was terrific, Chancellor. Chancellor Gibson, let's give him a round of applause for an inspiring speech. So my graduating class, a hundred years ago, the great American inventor, Thomas Edison, said, a college education is useless. Now, it should not come as a surprise to anyone here, since you know that Mr. Edison never went to college and in fact, he never even went to high school. He was a prolific inventor, and he, got, he thought he was gonna get away with making a statement like that, but he didn't. You see, one of Mr. Edison's contemporaries said, you're wrong, you're dead wrong, and boldly called out the Wizard of Menlo Park, as he was called in those days. The value of an education in a liberal arts college is not the learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think something that cannot be learned from textbooks. Now let's take a moment to process this. Let it sink in and I'll repeat it again for all of us. The value of an education in the liberal arts college is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think something that cannot be learned from textbooks. And who do you suppose was the champion of a liberal arts education in those days, a hundred years ago, who stopped the great Edison in his tracks. This man taught himself cal calculus at the age of 12 and was reading the German Enlightenment philosopher Immanuel Kant at the age of 13. It was Albert Einstein said that nothing was more important than a liberal arts education. Now I share this story with you today for several reasons. It illustrates that attacks on a college education in general, which are taking place today, as you and I know, and on a liberal arts education in particular, are not new, and often come from those who genuinely believe they did just fine without the benefit of a college degree. And perhaps they really did do well, but they represent an exception rather than the rule. In 2022, an article posted on money.com cited an earnings study conducted by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York in which the median annual wage for full-time worker between the ages of 22 and 27 with a bachelor's degree was $22,000 higher than for a worker with only a high school degree. Over the course of your career, you will earn over a million dollars more than someone with a high school degree. And furthermore, Indeed.com offers, offers some insight into what you can expect now that you have earned the bachelor's degree. First, you can expect increased access to job opportunities. You can expect to find either a clearly defined career path or a skill set that matches well with your career choices. You can expect long-term economic stability, high-level career advancement, job satisfaction, as well as a generally better self-esteem. And I'm going to go even further than Indeed.com by quoting Elsa.com. Because of the liberal arts education you have from Eastern, I strongly suspect that you will be more likely to vote, more likely to serve in a municipal government, and more likely to volunteer at a school or a place of worship or a local nonprofit. Yes, because of your Eastern liberal arts education, you're, form, you're far more likely to engage in acts of civil, civic responsibility. As you enter the workforce or graduate school or the military, you will need every single one of those soft skills. I don't like the term soft skills. I believe they are actually hard skills. 
that we know employers are looking for if you are to overcome the emerging challenges that threaten us. These challenges, you and I know, are frightening and they're very real. You will be challenged by those who will belittle your education because it minimizes their power to mislead and misform. You will be challenged by those who go to any extreme to spread misinformation because by creating chaos and confusion is their best chance of driving a wedge between you and the truth. You will be challenged by those who will stop at nothing to prevent you from participating in our representative democracy because silencing you and silencing your voice at the ballot box is the only way they can gain power to implement agendas that restrict equity, opportunity, and inclusion. If you remember nothing of what I say this evening, remember one thing, please. Use your education to do good. Embrace the differences you find in others. Create opportunity for yourself and for others. Stand against hate. Lift each other higher. These are truly American values. They are the values that will preserve our great American democracy for you, for your children, and your generations to come. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, President Nunez. I call on Provost, Provost William Salka to present the degree candidates. President Nunez, we have come to the principal reason why we are here today, the awarding of degrees to those student candidates who have met the academic degree requirements established by the faculty of their respective schools. On behalf of the university faculty, it is my pleasure to present the graduating class of 2023. These candidates have fulfilled the requirements of the university as approved by the Board of Regents. Candidates for undergraduate degrees will be presented by the dean of their respective schools in the order in which their names appear in your program. We begin with the School of Education and Professional Studies. I call on Dr. Nidhi Pandey, Dean of the School of Education and Professional Studies. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of General Studies, and Associate in Science in the School of Education and Professional Studies, please rise and remain standing. I now invite Dr. Nunez for the conferral of the degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of General Studies, and Associate in Science in the School of Education and Professional Studies with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated until your row is called for you to walk across the stage. I call upon Dr. Emily Todd, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences please rise and remain standing. I would like to invite Dr. Nunez for the conferral of the degrees. Thank you, Dean Todd. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations.
you can all sit down. Thank you, Dr. Nunez. To all the graduates, the marshals will now guide you to the platform to receive diplomas signifying your graduation from Eastern Connecticut State University. You may remain seated until your row is called to walk across the stage. Riley Pepper McConnell, magnum cum laude. Alexis Nicole Nimitz, summa cum laude. Joshua Joseph Dumais, cum laude. Samuel Robert Berrios, cum laude. Thomas Christian Abel. Brendan Menescu. Jose Carlos Fuentes Schrock. David Alejandro Galvez. Jo Jacob Raymond Essig. Jacob Andrew Borkwin. Olivia Elena Ashley, cum laude. Dynasty Lysandra Zariah Francis. Caleb Joshua Ennen, magna cum laude. Raphael Joseph. Elise Kathleen Bolmer. Bofa Jasmine Dye, magna cum laude. Caitlin Therese Brophy. Zyra Jade Figueroa. Yvette Joanne Duval. Julia Ann Kondo. Genesis Perez Caban. Alexis Lynn Burgess, magnum cum laude. Ashley Burke, Dean's Distinction. Brittany Alea Barton, magnum cum laude. Brand Brady Edward Bennett. John Fitzgerald Dooley, cum laude. William C. Beaver. Justin Joseph Hope. Michael James Brandt. Ivor Renato Veladin, cum laude. 
Amin Cologne Simon. Tim Fafnickler. Colin Daniel Bacchus. Sam Q. Elvis. Stephen James Gay. Ashley Ann Kingonius. Christopher Tyler DeBacco. Dwayne Gordon Jr. Frederick A. Ante. James Case Andrus. Melissa DeMello. Caitlin Capello, cum laude. Zachary Zaremba Flores. Scott Allen Keen Jr. Levi James Cote. Dylan Bailey. Seth Michael Richards. Eve Dunn Woods, magna cum laude. Jack Christopher Espinoza. Thomas Fisher. Patrick Daniel Watson. Leah Kendra Hayes, cum laude. Kira Alexis Fontaine. Kaylee Elizabeth Schumar, cum laude. Erin Elizabeth Blake, cum laude. Brianna Macias Huerta, cum laude. Lily Madden. Thomas Carilla. Spencer Andrew Anderson, cum laude. Hannah Elizabeth McAdam, summa cum laude. Erica Lynn Person, magna cum laude. Brianna Lynn Gomez. Joshua Anderson. Braden R. Drobish, cum laude. Mark Billingsley. Natalie Alyssa Pyle, summa cum laude. Jessica Wolchowski, magna cum laude. Grace Jacqueline Adams, summa cum laude. Jenna Catherine Lord, magna cum laude. Riley Catherine Duhamel, cum laude. Nathan Farino. Jack Demers. Jewelry, Julia Marie Florence, magna cum laude. Lee Gregory Broderick. Morgan Maria Crawford, magna cum laude. Justin Fry. Lorenzo Aubrey Blanco, cum laude. Adam James Brozowski. Adam Joseph Anastasio, cum laude. Christopher Vincent Blaze. Joseph Michael Forsalina. Tavish Nicholas Ernst, summa cum laude. 
Quinn Willis Ernst, cum laude. Mason Tyler DuPont. Matthew Dawson Coleman, magna cum laude. Lauren Elise Christie. Christopher Derek Beatty, magna cum laude. Cameron John Curtis, cum laude. <laughs> Sasha Anade Hernandez. <laughs> Jessica Sedalia Garcia Padilla, cum laude. <laughs> Zachary Russell Doty, cum laude. <laughs> Brent Albright Coscuyuela, cum laude. Jack Pelletier, cum laude. Devin McGowan. Noah Cole Mahalko. Andrea Eileen Nilsson. John Thomas Merritt. Jack David Melville. Mia Grant. Nazira Gomez Pichardo. Alec Boyce, cum laude. Alex Venturna Nunez da Silva. Maxwell Lee, cum laude, magna cum laude. Nicholas John Gallivan II. Megan Elizabeth Bergeron. Jessica Elizabeth Faherty. Ryan F. Stocks. Thomas Jeffrey Hebert. Jesse Robert Mayrice. Grant Spencer. Dominic Joseph Scorano, cum laude. Garrett Silas Lapham. Nicholas Michael Colazzo. Andrew L. Golden, cum laude. Jack Douglas Jones, summa cum laude. Dante Antonio Mirabello. Darren James Hiller, cum laude. Richard Alexander Muscus III. Mark Anthony Richards. Larson Richards. Ryan Thomas Jameson. Nicholas Ryan Ford, magna cum laude. Weeming Wang. Melody Noel Sopjak, cum laude. Christopher Frank Pergola. Ian Joseph Kerouac. Marcus James Prezioso, cum laude. Yuri Natalie Ladino Cubillos. Jillian Lynn McGon, summa cum laude. Madison Lynn Skellett. Julia Keller, magna cum laude. Delaney Brooks Pike, summa cum laude. Jason Patrick Morrill. Yasmin Rosa. Joseph Frederick Morgan, summa cum laude. 
Maria Guadalupe Lara Sandoval. Paige Jean Rushford. Olivia Jane Pendle. Julia Rose Simpson. William Paul Horvath, cum laude. Samantha Ray Orlowski, magna cum laude. Gabrielle Sophia Medina. Noah Jeffrey Plantamuro. Andre Caetano Jose. Fran Joseph Phelan Jr. Colby William Linnell, magna cum laude. Mitchell Tyler Bacall. Shane Patrick Haggerty, cum laude. David Adam Markiewicz, cum laude. Alexis Viola Silva, magna cum laude. Ingrid Paola Velasquez Lozoda, cum laude. Tatiana Haber. Rita Maria Rigarola, Dean's Distinction. Morella K. Polsky, cum laude. Cassandra Marie Melenez. Ryan Donald Marasi. Daytona J. Rizzo, magna cum laude. Madison Donnelly Keith. Chief Samar Newsom. Oliver Hernandez Satana, cum laude. Ryan Connor Owens, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Sophia Nabakas. Margaret Sarah Ann McGuire, magna cum laude. John Thomas Jaroska. Tyler Latera. Kurt Andrew Sturmer. Fabri Villanueva Verde. Tyson Jeffrey Trainer, Spencer A. Wesley, Jalen Thompson, Hannah Marie Ward, summa cum laude, Jacob Thomas Shoemaker, Luca Vinciano, Ryan Joseph Stewart, Michael Kenneth Warren, Seth Odell Thomas. Tyrese Woods. Thomas Joseph Close Jr. Terrell Preston Weir. Alexander Joseph Peterson. Osen Uzamir. Melvin Leroy Sailor III. Nicholas Alexander Ruiz. Preston Matthew Williams. Patricia Marilyn Ratona, cum laude. Ryan Michael Escoda. Halla Zoe Perez. Meg Ellen Verizzi. Jason Richard Valeri. Carolyn Kate Stent, summa cum laude. Shay Elizabeth Ventresca, magna cum laude. Julie Marie Keckler, cum laude. Jenna Sarantino. Emily Lynn Belval. Grace Muller, magna cum laude. Taylor Grace Darby. Carly G. Stoker. Grace Elizabeth Leone. Alyssa Ann Belechez, magna cum laude. 
Austin Taylor Venturini. Robert Lee Shannon Jr. James Doherty. Clayton Effett. Samantha Lorraine Mowry. Jason Berry Sweet. Riley Albert Zapone. Michael Ryan Tiska. Peyton Lauren Shannon Cum Laude. Sarah Catherine Gallagher Cum Laude. Cole Tyler Paquin, Magnum Cum Laude. Victor Anthony Del Vecchio. Emily Rose Kalalewski. Allison Christina Sanford. Grace Ann Magamelli. Hannah Zalato Epifano, cum laude. Cecilia Schweiger. Hunter James Vetterkind, summa cum laude. Janina Timbro. Megan Selinski. Jalixa Serrano, Seth Benoit, cum laude, Jonathan Frederick Wilson, magna cum laude, Erica Bonita Sandstrom, magna cum laude, Camille Gendersek, Noah Michael Violet, Summa cum laude. Diamatis Mary Serrano. Angelina Ying Song, magna cum laude. Donna Vasquez O'Brien, cum laude. Carlos Eduardo Castro Gomez. Edgar Alejandro Tinejero, three degrees. Kiera Jenea Smith. Diana Lynn Cohn, magna cum laude. Stephen Matthew Arnott. Anthony Nelson Bailey, summa cum laude. Leslie Thibodeau, Dean's Distinction. Bridget Ann LaRoe. Stephen Patrick Hill, Jr. Joshua Travis Tengue, summa cum laude. Chloe Jonica Cheneau, magna cum laude. Josiah Dante Gardner. <laughs> Nayare Edward Little. Brandon Chance, summa cum laude. Ale Alejandra Lee. College of Arts and Sciences. Woo! Carolyn Sechrist. Yeah. Sedea Marie Pino, magna cum laude. Nora 
Graham Amooch, cum laude. Michaela Erica Jackson, magna cum laude. Hannah Kate Berry. Presley Rose Crowell, magna cum laude. Ashley Glenn Frazier, Dean's Distinction. Brandon Richard DeMoncos. Melody Abuenga Cabarogus. Emma Catherine Dashna, magna cum laude. Brian Romeo Elliott. Samuel J. Farrell. Bryce Anthony Sullivan, cum laude. Brian John Alby. Jenna Grace Gannon, cum laude. Duncan Robert McKeith. Nea Ali, cum laude. Gavin Duthie, cum laude. Peter Gianfrudo. Jake Stephen Fry, cum laude. Anilian Aponte Febus. Annika Strasofferson, summa cum laude. Kylie Marie Davy, magna cum laude. James Armstrong, Connor James Armstrong. James Wheeler Armstrong the fifth, summa cum laude. Jordan Baker, magna cum laude. Safa Lee Dinesh, University Honors Scholar, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Bartoshevich, magna cum laude. Matthew Scott Duvall Jr., University Honors Scholar, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Brosca, University Honor Scholar, summa cum laude. Virgos Belamare. Seth Bryant Gelsomino. Sarah Natasha Burgess, cum laude. Rebecca Lynn Barto. Juliet Anna Cardinal, cum laude. Dylan James Bidwell. Jacob Carl Keller. Nicholas Cassiano. Allison Elizabeth Bolduck, magna cum laude. Madison Ray Corbin. Sophie Elizabeth Carver. Amber Nicole Fuller. Dean Cooper Fallas, magna cum laude. Zara Enid Dobson. Jenica Carrillo. David Alejandro Galvez. Stephanie Rodriguez Briones. Chenille Sherelle Davidson. Mackenzie Jean Dunn, cum laude. Nayeli M. Cruz Martinez, cum laude. Jaylene Marie Galban, magna cum laude. Ashley Carden, summa cum laude. Asia Monet Casillo, cum laude. Adriana Mary Cruz Bermudez Herrera, cum laude. Kimberly Boulay. Meg, uh, Megan Rebecca Dwarak, magna cum laude. Seth Charles Crochane. 
Oriana Ecavaria Frink. Valeria Hernandez, summa cum laude. Brianna Monet Cormier, magna cum laude. Nicole Marie Gorski, cum laude. Jordan Walter Greco. Carly Keller Dreyfus, magna cum laude. Yarielis Feliberte Melicio. Sharon Fowler Jr. Monica Lillis Fierro. Shamaya Edwards. Tajmarni Looney Apollon. Jesse Cameron Blair. Maximilian DeMaza. Christian David Alvis Reyna. Anna Alyssa Farnsworth. Jocelyn Valeria Crisantos. Emma Renee Green, magna cum laude. Jared Michael Caroline. Georgia Nicole Chesworth, cum laude. Enrique Rafael Diaz, magna cum laude. Madeline Harriet Brown. Nicholas Ernest Kalash, magna cum laude. Let's go, Christopher Kenneth Conrad. Marcel Farrell. Michael Joseph Flaherty IV, cum laude. Waverly Domkowski. Nicole Renee Gaston, summa cum laude. Brendan Michael Albert, cum laude. Ayla Jordan DiBiasio, summa cum laude. Bennett Thomas Genusio. Callan Hope Engelbrecht, magna cum laude. Orly Marie Colazo Ramos, cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Archer, summa cum laude. <laughs> Chloe Michael Cook. Michael Salvatore Di Cola, Jr. Kyle Vern Guerna, University Honors Scholar, magna cum laude. Megan Gabriel, summa cum laude. Emily Ann DeCarly. Anna Christine Barassa, magna cum laude. Jacob Christopher Belke, cum laude. Joseph R. Caruso, magna cum laude. Zachary Thomas Fuevel, cum laude. Alexa Del Bago, cum laude. Rachel Druin, magna cum laude. Liam Charles Hemingway, University Scholar, magna cum laude. Matthew Parker Jameson, magna cum laude. Aaron Eileen McGrath, cum laude. Olivia Natasha Holmes. Reese David Ketchum, magna cum laude. Brendan Ponce. Brendan Ponce. Gage Guavin Silva. Amanda Catherine Litvak, magna cum laude. Maya Faye Vandenberg. University Honor Scholar, summa cum laude. Mega Ann Piekiewicz, University Honor Scholar, magnum cum laude. Taisha Samantha Cervantes Pineda. Alexis Bailey Curtis. Dawson James Normanton. Madeline Adair Lynch, cum laude. Fernanda Avale. Adeba Reza, magna cum laude. Emily Joy Halleck. Maisie Elizabeth Hayes, summa cum laude. Alyssa Rose Mineo, summa cum laude. 
Connor McMurrow Cavanaugh, Leonardo Yamir Melikor, Hector Luis Morales Jr., Michelangelo Peter McCone, Lauren Marie Johnson, Alyssa Nicole Kallenbach, M. Irwin, Nicholas Joseph Pigot, Tracy Lynn Lambert, Nicholas James Kelly, cum laude, Kevin Anthony Laaria, Noelle Christine Ciccarelli, University Honor Scholar, Sumna Cum Laude. Elliot Cruiser, Paul Lawrence III. Carly Ryan Mathias, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Lynn Miano, Cum Laude. Megan Marie Ruers, Cum Laude. Sophie Marie Labasquez. Nicholas King, Jasper Vincent Pelletier, Samuel James Orvatis, cum laude, Allison Marie Sautel, summa cum laude, Rebecca May Risto, summa cum laude, Jordan Thomas Madhouse, Tashika Sangster, magna cum laude. Brianna Melanie Paramhant, magna cum laude. Grace Victoria Carlos, magna cum laude. Tamaris Senqual Monea Calhoun. Susanna Daniela Morales. Morgan Alisa Haybeck. Shannon Lee McKee, cum laude. Isabella Rose Ozak, cum laude. Ryan Michael Hare. Natalia Rodriguez Herrera, summa cum laude. Zochi Daniela Yanez. Danielle Lorito, cum laude. Lauren Mayotte, cum laude. Tyler Thomas Hood. Abigail Jane Fletcher, University Honor Scholar and Magnum Cum Laude. Brianna Christina. With Wedeli, Gianna Catherine DeSanti, University Honor Scholar and Summa Cum Laude, Anna Isabel Correas, Magna Cum Laude, India McDermott Areola, Cum Laude, Faith Elizabeth Parker, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Rose Gashdidian. Leleshka Alicia, magna cum laude. Samantha Lynn Norris, summa cum laude. Alexis Marie Dudek, summa cum laude. Woo! Sophia Eva Lamba, magna cum laude. Molly Elizabeth Marindino, summa cum laude. Savannah Isabella Perkins, University Honor Scholar and summa cum laude. Taylor Lavery. Andrew Alexander Goldberg, cum laude. Piper Lee Kozar Myers. Olivia Florence Hermanot, magna cum laude. 
Dashell Rivera. Itzel Guadalupe Martinez Garcia. Paulina Gisela Hernandez Galindo, summa cum laude. Cecilia Gail LeBlanc, cum laude. Brianna Lynn Lester. Michaela Lester. Samantha Nicole Roman, cum laude. Juliana Amaya Gray, magna cum laude. Blanca Nuvia Rodas. Rachel Jackman, summa cum laude. Aaron Thainer, summa cum laude. Sequoia J. Hood. Olivia Newman, magna cum laude. Alyssa Nicole Millet, summa cum laude. Megan Gallagher. Carly Renee Potaskowitz. Thomas Eugene Roundtree, cum laude. Yazan Arnaut. Ar Ar Mohammed Faraj. Shayna Pestola. Kaylee Melikowski. Alyssa Herr. Rachel Aaron Lebezak, magna cum laude. Rafael Adrian Roman Rodriguez. Janine Ramirez Gutierrez, magna cum laude. Aspen Ben Uzule, magna cum laude. Judith Ariana Arroyo Cervantes, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Peralta Escobar, cum laude. Denise Montserrat Diaz Sanchez. Flor Hernandez Jose, cum laude. Jessica Ng, magna cum laude. Amanda Catherine Litvak, magna cum laude. Alicia Glick. Ni Tao Lam. Jacob Sweeney. Ryan Christopher Barretta. Aiden Mitchell Gamash, magna cum laude. Emily Ann Watling, summa cum laude. Nicholas Allen Peralt. Logan Contos. Christian Maldonado. Yi Yuen. Kerry Nutzel. Amber Morgan Plord. Trevor J. Mays, summa cum laude. Sincere Lawson. Jenna Rose Blinn. Shanna Christine Lenahan, summa cum laude. 
Jordan Elise Holbrook, cum laude. Celia Lynn Anderson. Emily Elizabeth Ostar. Hannah Marie Rivera. Melody Ray Okoa. Riley Aaron Waterfield. Jacob William McCourt. Xavier Eugene Jackson Ward, cum laude. Anqua Timothy Hardigan. Jocelyn Rose Madden. Tamarin Tinia Kelly, summa cum laude. Nima Mally Alexander, magna cum laude. Jenna Elaine Jacques. Jasmine Faith Wilkinson Arell, cum laude. Molly Dakota Nichols, summa cum laude. Ali Kathleen Margoloni, summa cum laude. Kristen Lorian Cables, cum laude. Aislinn Tracy, magna cum laude. Samantha Jada Brooke Gale. Kit Anderson. Kayla Mecklin, cum laude. Jasmine Rose Charland, cum laude. Sydney Lynn Petro, magna cum laude. Allison May Stanton, magna cum laude. Jamie Claire Shea, cum laude. Suhela Yusuf Bo, magna cum laude. Lauren Artina Hunter, magna cum laude. Anna Teresa Panciera, cum laude. Caitlin Rose Marone, cum laude. Felix Jegri Gbati, Dean's Distinction. Rosaline Benley, cum laude. Alyssa Ann Garcia. Colby Lee Hayes, magna cum laude. Malia Liz Mercado. Emily Catherine Tartsinis, cum laude. Avery Elizabeth Rosenbaum. Courtney Elizabeth Reed, summa cum laude. Jada Ariana Dove, cum laude. Savannah Rose Henault, cum laude. Martha Ida Castillo Mercado. Mirna Yesenia Avendano Sandoval. Rebecca La. Emma Sharon Walton, summa cum laude. Sarah Teresa Theralt, magna cum laude. Audrey Ann Steiner. Kaylee Wilkinson, cum laude. Shade Lorraine Talley. Katarina Ann Turquetta. Shamar Stewart. Juan Guillermo Villegas Salas, magna cum laude. Tariq Sullivan. Quinton Sneed Lott. Alexis Eden. Taylor Yvette Thomas. 
Cameron Olivia Tyson. Emilia Soto McMillan, magna cum laude. Jared Werner, University Honors Scholar, summa cum laude. Spencer Aaron Terranova. Claire Tracy. Benjamin Atticus Williams, magna cum laude. Sarah Swift, magna cum laude. Juana Alejandra Santana. Michael Waldi. Max Kelly Turner. Alicia B. Smith, cum laude. Connor Christopher Trayan. Camilla Lucky Zermeno. Natalie Diane Sanchez. Taylor Elizabeth Tardif, magna cum laude. Jason J. Wang. Elijah Janira Sanchez, magna cum laude. Meredith Rachel Sylvia. Melissa May Zembrski, summa cum laude. Christian Swan. Ayla Scott Thurston, magna cum laude. Henry B. Tiemann. Cameron Elizabeth Solar, cum laude. Kelsey Marie Zader, cum laude. Ashley Ann Trussell. Sarah Raza. Talia Rochelle Petruzzello. Sahar Shaker. Zarina Niazi. Anna Rose Berry, cum laude. Jacqueline Day Santanella, magna cum laude. Gabrielle Rose Wassell. Carly Jassaro, cum laude. Martha Lee Jane Chapman, magna cum laude. Carmen Neves. Juliet Hogan, University Honors Scholar, cum laude. Thomas Alfredo Acevedo. Mark Anthony Bagdasarian. Taylor Ariana McDonald. Anthony Santos. Jacob Dylan Hartman, cum laude. Peter Joseph Hainsworth, cum laude. Michael Joseph Ryan. Kennedy Serrano Acosta. Humberto Sanchez Hereda. Humberto Sanchez Hereda. Kyla Kingsbury. Juliana Elizabeth Daddario Mullen. Elizabeth Aurora Torres. Adrian Marie Navarez. Genly Laredo Edwards. Ashley Nicole Lamberg, summa cum laude. Nana Botema Ama Hansen, University Honors College, magna cum laude. Adele Eli Riviera. Kira Marie Pera. Marika Vernell Howell. Christian James Dubril. Eleni Alexandra Castaraquez, University Honors College, summa cum laude. Emily Grace Pollard, University Honors Scholar, magna cum laude. Naomi Claire O'Neill. 
Catherine Rose Yablonski. Amy Elise McCarthy. Dylan Tillman, summa cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Barada, University Honors Scholar, summa cum laude. Kathleen Elizabeth Godfrey. Alexis Rose Puckett, cum laude. Cameron Yaden Bell. Alexis Michaela Ziegler. Jolie Caroline Vulamir, cum laude. Sean Claude Strzok. Nikhil Agrawale. River Thomas Selman. Caitlin LaRiviera. Ethan Richard Johnson. Kelly Lynn Smarmer, cum laude. Amber Rose Caldy, magna cum laude. Erica Kathleen Rumsey. Jillian Mercado, cum laude. Anna Lego. Angelina Grace Chaveri. Juliana Guerrera, cum laude. Grace Evelyn Briscoe. Kaylee Nicole Burke. Megan Ann Brett. John Christian Yoder, University Honors Scholar, magna cum laude. Jorg Briones Perez, magna cum laude. Cheryl Marie Chavez Pacheco. Morgan Marie Balduk, cum laude. Kayla Alvarez. Cameron Rayleigh Ebersol, cum laude. Jenna Melissa DeSalvia. Rihanna A. Gates. Haley Rose Matthew. Megan Lee Kozaira. Kevin Xavier Morales, magna cum laude. Caitlin Reagan, magna cum laude. Emily Nicole Ritz. Noelle Olivia Valencourt. Catherine Elizabeth Van Wart. Suzanne Fairbanks. Courtney Young, cum laude. Alex Martin Golechowitz. Aaron Elizabeth Jones. Scholastica Adomi, Dean's Distinction. Oritha Obidan Kasadin. Brendan David Coverley. Ava Sakura Hassel. Olivia Grace Magic, summa cum laude. Nicholas Steminski. Rakesh Robert Tibby. Kayla Marie Bayer. Sabrina Anna Greco, cum laude. Mackenzie Lynn Shrewsbury. Brenda Clayne Barreto. Alexandra Rose Mitchell, magna cum laude. Andrea Augusto, cum laude. Patrick Thomas Martin, magna cum laude. Ryan Thomas Carroll. Jennifer Catherine Duncan. Victoria Isabel Cirillo, magna cum laude. 
Sarah Ann Hale. Christopher Michael White. Christiana Blank. Leon Tracy, Leone Tracy Dougal. Holly Sabara. Julia Nicole Bertolozzi. Grace Anna Goldberg Doyle, magna cum laude. Autumn Francis Parker. Camden Elizabeth Murphy, cum laude. Carolyn Rose Crespi. Andy McInella. Emma Haas. Zachary Benham Brace. Colin Bamrick, cum laude. Shiming Lee, cum laude. Sarah Eslami, summa cum laude. Candice Kuhas, summa cum laude. Amanda Smith. Cassandra Jean Newdecker, magna cum laude. Emily Therese Simmons. Brittany Lohman. Janae Sakine Chase, magna cum laude. Cassandra Marissa Manguel. Melissa Livia Valenzuela, magna cum laude. Kate Elizabeth Conway, summa cum laude. Diego Segovia Ayala, summa cum laude. Will Smith Pochette, magna cum laude. Laura Lisa Dekel Ching, magna cum laude. Yadira Soria Guzman. Andrew William Pepper, cum laude. Sere Vecchia Fan. Justin Michael Vance. Jonathan Michael Smith. Dean's Distinction. James Conlin. Jalen Lee Junius. Savannah Lynn Luzell, cum laude. Zachary Thomas Wunch. Dante Dice Paul. Colin Leonard Wiltshire II. Yeah, Carlos Martinez, magna cum laude. Natalie May Havanek, magna cum laude. Michael Asedu Larby. Congratulations, class of 2023.
As we near the end of these commencement exercises, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Justin Murphy, class of 1998, president of the ECSU Foundation Board of Directors, who will welcome the graduates. Good evening. Each of you are now officially alumni of Eastern Connecticut State University. Congratulations. Although you've completed your studies, I'm here to welcome you as alums, but also ask that you continue your relationship with Eastern and stay active. Active and engaged alumni are an essential part of the Eastern community, and we all have a role to play. Yes, financial support's always appreciated, but Eastern offers a variety of ways for our alumni to stay involved and to contribute to the vibrance and continued success of Eastern and its students. Early in your careers, that support may be as simple as returning to campus to attend a student performance or to cheer on our student athletes. Over time, as you progress in your careers and gain valuable experience, you may have an opportunity to mentor a student or establish an internship with your employer. Eventually, some of you may go on to establish a scholarship at Eastern to help others follow in your footsteps. No matter how you choose to stay connected to Eastern, please keep in touch. I am confident that you all have exciting futures ahead of you and that you'll go on to do wonderful things with the knowledge and skills that you've gained here at Eastern. And I want to hear about your achievements and so do your fellow classmates. It's been 25 years since I graduated from Eastern and I still enjoy reading the alumni notes section of Eastern Magazine to learn about my fellow classmates. So please, share your successes and milestones with the Office of Alumni Affairs so that we can celebrate you. And please stay in touch. Congratulations and best wishes. Will all please rise as Father Larry LaPointe pronounces the benediction. As you look back on today's events and your experience at Eastern, you may think that it was at times like paradise. We did graduate someone today named Eden, and Abel, and a Cain was not present. We had a king and a Lord who is a young woman. Well, a lady, really. Three-fourths and no fifths. They were probably checked at the door. We graduated a hood who is not a robin, uh, but there is a dove and a cardinal, a Ford, not Henry, but Nicholas. And we hope that Nicholas and all the rest of you will be as successful as Henry Ford was. Let us in a moment of silent reflection enter into the the depth and the importance of this moment in the lives of these men and women. Today, the days of your life at Eastern Connecticut State University have drawn to a close, and a broader life lies before you, open. For the love you have known, for the opportunities 
which have been provided, for the friendships which have been formed, and for the hopes that have been born in you during these years, we give thanks. For every prompting of conscience and for every vision of the truth which has been revealed to you and in you, we give thanks. Take from this time and this place the blessings of friendships formed, of wisdom gained, of knowledge acquired, of compassion known and learned. Go forward into the world that you have known, confident of the love and blessings of your family, of your friends, of this academic community, and with the blessings of God, however you conceive that reality to be in your life. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and may God be gracious to you. May God grant you peace. Shalom. Salam. Pass. At the end of this day, at the end of each day, and at the end of all your days. Amen. Thank you, Father LaPointe. Please be seated. <laughs> you have somewhere to be? <laughs> As we come to the end of these proceedings, for everyone's safety, I ask that you please remain at your seat until the recessional is completed and all the graduates have processed out. All right, folks, we're almost there. I declare this 133rd commencement concluded. Congratulations.